Arizona State soccer returned to Tempe Friday night and squared off against California State University Northridge for the start of a four-game homestand. But what should have been a victory in the eyes of the Sun Devils became a disappointing draw as ASU could not navigate CSUN's centralized defense. ASU led the game and shots on goal by a 15-shot margin and maintained 63% possession. Sun Devil soccer captain Kylie Minifield said it was frustrating knowing their hard work over the past few weeks did not match the result of the game, but being home gave them an advantage. It's been fun and being able to have such a great turnout in the crowd. Um, there were so many people here cheering us on throughout the game and their energy really helps pump us up on the field too. Arizona State started off the match looking strong and in sync as they dominated possession and continuously crossed the field but their work down the line did not pay off and they left for halftime still 0-0. The Matadors came out of halftime recovered and ready and scored early after a hard drive down the left side of the field and a solid shot by CSUN's Casey Garrity. The game's intensity picked up quickly. The Sun Devils had a stroke of luck as forwards Nicole Douglas was tripped inside the 18 and was awarded a penalty kick. She easily beat CSUN's keeper for an equalizer with 15 minutes in regulation. Your team has so much confidence in you and what just goes through my head is I've just got to put this in the back of the net. In overtime, the Sun Devils had a handful of quality chances to put them over the Matadors, but were unsuccessful in their attempts. Despite an unfortunate result, ASU soccer head coach Graham Winkworth is looking forward to the impending challenges his team is about to face. We've got all sorts of different types of uh, teams, different styles of play, a lot of athleticism. You're going to see teams that uh, play very direct soccer and rely on chasing it and, and running and, and subbing and running and subbing and that's difficult to play against, you know. It's, it's not always the most attractive but it's difficult to play against. And then you're going to see teams who play beautiful, fluid passing soccer. Sun Devil Soccer is now 6-2-1 and one on the season, this being their first tie. But the end of this match means the start of their Pacific 12 Conference play. And their first stop is against the Utah Utes next Friday afternoon at Sun Devil Soccer Stadium. In Tempe, I'm Ali Kruzniak, Cronkite Sports.